Hi, Nikhil. Uh, this is Krish Raghuram here. Nice to meet up with you, and thanks for taking this interview today. Thanks, Chris. Okay, and as you know, I'm representing the uh, product work group. Uh, we're doing the Newton Design Series. Of course, I work for Intel, and I'm a planning manager uh, engaged with the Rackspace on the OpenStack Innovation Center. So why don't we start off by telling you, you know, telling us a little bit about yourself. Absolutely. So hello, everyone. This is Nikhil Kumawar. I am the project technical lead for uh, OpenStack Lens for Newton release. And um, I work as a, a software developer for IPM. And um, I, you know, engage in open source and open communities uh, that sort of help OpenStack. So I'm a focus around OpenStack. And uh, I try to make, uh, uh, you know, cloud life better. <laughs> now that is a good summary. And as the Glance uh, PTL, why don't you tell us a little bit about uh, Glance? Sure. So OpenStack Glance, as uh, you may know, um, the, it's a reference implementation for the OpenStack REST API. Um, it's a core service uh, as, as defined by you know, the branding uh, that OpenStack gives and the requirements uh, therefore. So uh, th that's what the major focus of Glance is, like to, to make OpenStack infrastructure uh, a little bit uh, you know, smooth for operators and users, and then that's where uh, developers are involved there mostly. And I guess uh, you know it, it is it's an it's an API service, so it provides uh, feeds up serves up images to Glance uh, to Nova among other things. And I think uh, you also may have mentioned, I think there was talk during the summit about uh, clients extending to also be a repository for uh, templates and so on to be served up to heat. So is that where Glance is going? Absolutely. So uh, Glance being a service that's being consumed by a variety of services in OpenStack. So uh, we store basically images, uh, if you may, but those images could be bare metal images, it could be, uh, you know, virtual machine images as well, and then volumes are stored as well. Um, so over our glance is a, a cataloging service, if you may, but it provides like a tuple and a data, the, so, so a tuple of data and uh, metadata on that data, and it provides some level of coherency for that metadata. So we have uh, some uh, constructs that define what the data sh is, and then the metadata is sort of a, uh, a definition of that uh, data, and then it adds some extra information, like a licensing or something like that. So right. that's where the, uh, the core of Lans usefulness of Glance is, and we are, uh, the mission statement of Glance uh, is you know, to provide, uh, you know, upload and uh, discover mechanisms so that uh, you know, data assets like heat templates or uh, you know, Murano catalogs can also be used besides uh, what we already have, like images and volumes. So that's where we are going. Uh, we also have some something called metadata definitions, which is more of a textual representation of uh, uh, the metadata, and it sort of helps the end user understand what that meta is about. So it's you can think about Glance as an information center for OpenStack. So it's like the first uh, point where you go if you if you are in a new place. That's what right, it right, right, right. It's 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 probably one of the main interfaces for the users, right, in terms of uploading and using images and launching them. So uh, we had a pretty successful design summit in Austin. So what were some of the hot topics for Glance over there? Um, we we have been focusing a lot on interoperability issues um, over the last year, and that sort of continued uh, during the summit, design summit as well. Uh, we talked about uh, more discoverable, interoperable, uh, you know, newly defined upload process that we are calling as import because you can add some uh, level of uh, features on top of upload to make it more operator and end user friendly. So that's what the focus for, uh, you know, Newton is as well. And um, we want to focus on, so that's a V2 only API and we want to 
focus on that uh, to basically help uh, users and um, you know, operators in a, in, a, in a relatively longer term. So we want to deprecate version one of the Glance API. And one of the dependencies for that was the adoption of Nova's uh, version two Glance. So, uh, you know, the Glance team was working very hard and getting that done. And uh, during the Newton, uh, you know, as far uh, as, yep. uh, you know, testing aspects. Um, besides that, we are focusing uh, again the end user experience is a little bit better, and then uh, you know evolving Glance is a unified catalog as well. So that's being done in the Glare repository, or Glance repository, but as a Glare uh, code base. Yeah. Okay. So that's that's great, and it's good to see the things that uh, Glance is doing to move forward. Uh, what were some of the user needs or main problems? Because we talked about features, but what were the news user needs or problems that you're seeking to address through this? Sure. So, so uh, as as of today's date, end users have uh, you know variety of ways where they can upload and uh, uh, store image data and metadata. To glance, particularly image data, because we have uh, some uh, advanced APIs that are operator defined, but uh, we are trying to come up with better stories around that. And we are trying to come up with uh, different mechanisms like asynchronous and synchronous mechanism to upload data into glance in a you know, unified sort of a, a discoverable, more interoperable way. So, and that can be used by um, something like a OpenStack client or any new client that you're trying to build, use that discoverability aspect of the API and then you know have a seamless experience for the end users, if you may. So the work is uh, focused around end users, but from Glance's side, we are building the you know, building blocks for uh, helping the clients to write those things. Right, right. And uh, we also saw that, uh, so we also saw some of the image sharing Aspects are a little bit, uh, you know, immature, if I may. Um, you know, you can do a few things with image sharing, but the real vision of Im image sharing when it was really introduced was to provide sort of a marketplace platform so that, you know, a dashboard can build something more feature-friendly for clouds, large-scale clouds particularly. And for that to happen and to, you know, help the operators with the more... Uh, more better contracts or more durability or manageability of the images that they provide, we are coming up with, the, you know, the next step for us is coming up with the concept of community share, a community image. And then that will be like an improvised image sharing, uh, you know, uh, sorry, Im improved image, image sharing. Um, not um, and that's, that's something uh, of a focus for uh, Newton as well and uh, end users uh, centric too. Um, also, there have been some cross-project efforts for uh, better uh, documentation. So um, that's that's again one of the things that uh, the team is focusing on. Right. So you did talk about quite a few things there, which I'm sure would have got initiated in the in the Newton cycle, but pro probably have a life going way beyond that. So what would you say are the top three or four priorities for the Newton cycle itself? Right. Or what you'd like to make make sure is done before the next summit. Absolutely. So uh, one of the things that we have been uh, working really hard for a really long time is the import refactor. Again, um, a lot of has been discussed and a few of the you know issues that were blocking us during uh, the past couple of cycles have been resolved uh, to an extent. So, you know, Having like a base for that refactor is what our focus is. We have an approved spec uh, that we are carrying from last cycle and we are, you know, coming up with a discovery layer and then, uh, you know, a base concept for the upload in a new way. So that's one feature that we're focusing on. I mentioned about better image sharing and then the community image sharing concept. So that's uh, another feature that we're focusing on. And we are also focusing on deprecation of Glance version one so that, you know, we, operators and the users can easily move to Glance version 2 when they sort of start adopting uh, the, the better features that the version 2 has to provide and it's a more friendly for a public-facing API. So 
that's where that's what uh, our target is and uh, we also want to you know have some some sort of stability in the api that we expose for the artifacts uh, or the unified catalog so for these the three or four features that we are targeting terrific and as you can i think you touched upon it a little bit already about you know improving interoperability and so on but what would you say would the, would the key themes be for newton um, could you kind of for the benefit of the you know listeners could you kind of summarize what the key themes would be um, a lot of this information gets fed into you know product working group roadmap and stuff so we uh, generally when we talk within the developer team or when we are having an interaction with the operator team uh, we are thinking in terms of like a high level goals for the project as well so um, you know we are already dealing with a lot of interoperable interoperability issues that we are addressing uh, over this cycle and then going forward so you know it's it's going to better uh, provide a better experience for uh, end users and uh, the the other services like i mentioned about porting nobody use version 2 which has you know trust concept so that long uh, long lived snapshots can uh, succeed without without failing um so the, these things are uh, you know important for us and then uh, we that's our and that's the interoperability being one of the you know important things for neutral keys Uh, besides that we all, uh, we do focus on a little bit of manageability because we are a core service and then um, you know if operators and users um, want to have a better experience for you know a largely adopted service and manageability is usually a uh, important factor for um, glance and uh, i think we while we are doing all of this we want to make ensure that you know in the long run our code base is stable and we have a way to uh, iteratively make progress so uh, we do focus on the modularity and then make sure our design and architecture are on the right track and keep a check so that the you know if there are any workarounds or if there are any temporary uh, additions to the code base we have a way to uh, address those in the next cycle so that's one of the uh, key, key themes for newton as well Terrific. I think you covered a lot of ground there. So thanks for that. Um is there anything else you'd like to add to close out the interview something for the, for the audience? Um yeah surely. So we are uh, stressing a lot on the version 2 of the API and I see that uh, we have some feature requests from end users and then uh, from other teams as well. So I just want the you know community to know that we are working really hard on that with the interoperability and the discoverability layer of that so all the input that we get from end users or other teams is going to be fed into all those teams and then we are going to make sure uh, to you know uh, have a big hand for all the major stakeholders in uh, designing uh, the, the refactor or any other uh, enhancements that we do uh, besides we are working uh, very hard on the the glare or the artifact uh, unified cataloging uh, concept and a lot of services have expressed interest so um, you know we want to see that done and uh, i hope to get a lot of good uh, you know uh, good uh, constructive critical feedback from the uh, teams and the end users about you know what what's the best way to do it and then how would they like to see that going forward okay Thank you very much Nikhil um, for you know taking out some time to do this interview really appreciate that i'm sure uh, many of the users and end users will also appreciate some of your uh, the points you made here wishing you all the best with the newton cycle uh, i'm sure that the mid cycle is coming up and then the final release in october uh, i'm sure a lot, a lot of people have a lot of good things to look forward to from glance so thank you very much Thanks Chris I appreciate the interview and then I appreciate your time. Thank you.